and now we have a battery conditioning mode on the Project 45 and we see it says battery conditioning, battery mode optimised for maintaining drive performance and shortened DC charge time when driving in winter. So I'm back here at DSG Hyundai in Morecambe, which is about 150 miles away from me. And I've got a few warranty issues that I'd like resolving. So they're gonna have a look at it. And the reason why I didn't go to my local dealer um, near me is because when I asked them to have a look at it, the issues that I had with the car, they said, yeah, we'll get back to you and <laughs> never call back. So I wasn't going to go and chase them up. So I decided to come here to Morecambe because when I showed Will this video, his reply was, yes, it shouldn't be squeaking like that. So I am down here for this, that issue. And also there's another issue with the passenger rear door where the surround in the top right corner is starting to peel and that's a known warranty issue. So those are the two warranties and I'm also down here to get an update that will hopefully change is when you go into the cogwheel here, you can see in winter mode, the, um, we've only got the winter mode, which basically heats the battery up when the temperature gets below minus five degrees centigrade and that's just to um, help the battery from deteriorating but hopefully after the update we should also see a precondition um, mode as well for when you're going to hit a rapid charger and that'll stop the cold gate or the slow charging that happens in winter so i'm really excited for this update we're going to hopefully come back in a couple of days because i need to leave it with them for a few days because of the squeaky seats still squeaking so they're going to have a look at both of them fingers crossed it's something simple a little bit of wd-40 or some some sort of lubricant rather than a whole seat change so the technician here at dsu hyundai has nicely updated the car or over his lunch and it's called the battery conditioning function at low ambient update and now we have a battery conditioning mode on the Project 45 and we see it says battery conditioning, battery mode optimised for maintaining drive performance and shortened DC charge time when driving in winter. So it seems like that has done the update for the preheat of the battery of the vehicle and I'm not quite sure how this all works. I'll have to do this once I get my car back um, after they've uh, tested out the squeaking of the seats and the other little bits. Hopefully it'll be early next week or at the weekend. But for now, we know that you can get this update, the battery conditioning mode. And once again, the update is called the battery conditioning function at low ambient temperature. So it's a little bit rainy here and I have the Galaxy Gold Ionic 5. It's a ultimate model and it's quite nice, quite excited to drive a different colour Ionic 5 for a little bit. It's got a few extras, it's got the cap for the uh, wing mirror and it's also got this accent. I think it's got an accent on the boot as well. Let's have a look. There we go. Okay. <laughs> First thing, handles don't pop out in this model. Hmm. Is that going to annoy me? I'll have to do a comparison then. Right, let's jump in here and have a look. This car has got the update as well. 
click on the cog and non eco pack version i mean there's there's not even a winter mode on this one there's no winter mode on here and there's no so basically if you get this update nothing is going to change in your non eco pack one for the preconditioning of the battery uh, so you definitely need the eco pack to get it done so I'm actually quite excited about this new update on my Ionic 5 and having the battery conditioning function at low ambient temperature update which rolls right off the tongue doesn't it? Uh, so that's what you'll have to ask for when you go into your dealer and like I said make sure you have the eco pack already installed in your vehicle and to make sure that you do have that, you can just basically go to the settings, like I said, and look for the winter mode. And if you've got the winter mode, it means you can update to the battery precondition. If it doesn't have that winter mode, it means you do not have the eco pack and nothing will happen with the update when applied. So the official line from Hyundai is that it's not a warranty update and it's basically chargeable in the sense that it's up to the dealer what they charge you so it's up to their discretion uh, it could be by the hour or it could be um, you know a flat rate that they they charge you for a software update so i'm actually driving back in the demo car now because i need to leave mines for the other warranty work with the seats and the little peely bit on the rear door on the passenger side and I've got the Ionic 5 and this one is the ultimate so it's like mines but it's only got the tech pack there's no eco pack there's no solar on the roof but the other thing that's different is it doesn't have the poppy out handles and it's actually got the drive uh, highway drive assist version 1.5 I think whereas mine has the version 2 so if you want me to test anything in particular put it down in the description below and if you like this video please hit the like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time